Hey guys, it's been a while. Did you miss us? I'm Sigfault. I'm Garnavis. And I'm Donner. And today we're uh, playing a game that is very near and dear to my heart, Jazz Jackrabbit for uh, PC DOS. Any of you guys played Jazz Jackrabbit before? I have. I played Jazz 1 and 2, and the first one doesn't hold as many memories for me as the second one, because I haven't played this one until like just a few years ago, really. Uh, okay. Well, we're going to be playing the second one, too, after this one. Yeah, the, uh, I, I played the, uh, the CD-ROM version uh, as a kid, like before I really knew anything about video games. It was one of my first games, though. You know, um, I, I never got very far into it, you know, being, I was pretty pretty bad at video games as a kid, and that really hasn't changed, but uh, I, I don't know. I, I, <clears throat> I, I understand this is sort of a uh, falls in, there's like the, the, the PC entry in the whole uh, snarky animal mascot thing going on in this period. Yeah, like you had like Sonic kind of like set the stand, the gold standard for, for that. For better or for worse. For better or for worse, yes, and Jazz <laughs> is kind of like the, uh, the PC's answer to Sonic. I do appreciate it for uh, being basically Sonic but with a gun. Yeah. That's sort of what it is. And uh, this is the very first level of Diamond Dust. The thing that really got me when I was playing it was, uh, it was, uh, I found it pretty hard to control him. I mean, it, it, it is a pretty impressive speed, uh, but it's a little too fast for me in these kind of, kind of uh, dangerous environments, you know, the small, uh, small corridors with enemies and everything. Yeah, that is really fast. Like, you know, this is a fast game. I don't even remember it being that fast when I played it. The second one certainly isn't this fast. Yeah, this game runs at a breakneck speed, which is really impressive, especially at the time. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 certainly cool for that. Like like I say, it makes it a little tougher to play. But. Yeah, especially when at this, you know, the, the resolution of the game's that where you can just run and uh, there's like an enemy five feet in front of you, and you're like, oh no! Yeah. But the game really like gives you the opportunity to, uh, to counteract that. You can see there's like, you get a lot of ammo. Like right here, I'm, I'm using the... Uh, First weapon that the game gives you called the toaster, and you fire this big, like, big fireball thing. It's bigger than your normal blaster. You won't be seeing other weapons too. They just seem to throw a lot of ammo at you. They really do. But you're really meant to like, you're meant to like spam it and stuff. I also see. I mean, Jazz can take a few more hits. I mean, he's not. He's 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 got the got a health bar instead of the whole uh, rings thing. So. Yeah. Right. Makes he, it a little he gets more survivable. Hit and, uh, floppy disks fly everywhere. <laughs> Yeah, what, what are those, uh, what are you collecting these floppy disks for? Do they points. have any purpose as points? Do points have any purpose? Not really, for the high score. Right. Yeah, I just, I just like collecting points. points. Yeah, well, there are games where, you know, you get a thousand points to get a life or something like that. That's but. true. Yeah. This is the, uh, another weapon, the uh, RF, or really fast missile. Is that what RF stands for? Yes. I always wondered that. I don't know, I guess I never really questioned it as a kid, but... Somebody's gonna fire something with radio something. Yeah, well, that was like my thought when I was a kid, I guess, but... No, it's, um, just really fast missiles. It fires two in, in a V pattern. And it can be kind of hard to control. But, uh, if you, if you know what you're doing. Right. Like I do, because I'm a super pro player. I like that screen shifting thing, it does when you talk. Oh, yeah. Which I think is also from Sonic, but... He's, he's kind of... I think a lot of the platform games and stuff coming like that. Yeah, you know, like, I think I, th I think you're right. I'm thinking about it. Yeah. I don't know if Super Mario did. I don't think it really needed to. No. I know definitely the first one did. It was yeah, a much more uh, uh, horizontal game. Yeah. Although I remember in uh, in Super Mario World, like you could press a button and like the screen would shift forward a little bit. In what? In Super Mario World. Oh, oh, I guess I only remember seeing that. Or I do remember using that. What, what, are, they, what are these uh, little options you had, you had for a minute there? Those oh, little the, things uh, oh, yeah, around those are, That's a shield. Oh, okay. you, can, you can take a hit. It, it, it's like the, like the bubble shield from Sonic. Of course. Because, you know, everything, everything is based on Sonic, as you'll see. So yeah. everything here seems to have an analog in Sonic. Is there any, yeah. like, is there any things that are directly Especially right? that. Yeah, that's, that's right. And this right here. As if the game wasn't fast enough already. The yeah, last time I tried playing this, which was relatively recently, I find myself having to, like, tiptoe through the whole level. Because if, if I tried to go this fast, I just ended up, you know, yeah. Like, yeah. being <laughs> toasted. So, what's the story of this game, anyway? I know it probably says something in that cinematic thing at the beginning, but, you know, I wasn't paying attention. I actually don't think it does. I'm pretty sure no, this is one of those just... games where it's all in the manual. Sort oh, of yeah. Alright, what happened was, 
You guys know the the Aesop fable about uh, like the tortoise and the hare? hare. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, this is like like thousands of years in the future, and uh, Devon Shell. Oh, you fight Devon Shell, who's this turtle terrorist, and he kidnaps uh, Ava Erlong, who's the uh, Ava, Ava Erlong rather, the uh, the princess of Caritas, and uh, Jazz Jackrab has to go uh, rescue her. Okay. That's the so, story. Typical of rescue the princess plot, basically. Yep. Except the rabbits. Look at this. Also, yeah, bonus levels. If you saw before, I, I collected a red gem. Yeah. And now, uh, in, a, in a level two, and when you collect the red gems, you get a bonus level. These things were totally awesome when I was a kid. Yeah, I remember like these too. They look a little like they'd be a little boring now, but. Yeah. I don't know. Back then, it was just like holy crap, it's 3D. Yeah, I mean, sure, that's pretty impressive. Well, I mean, this is still like post Doom and stuff, right? So. Yeah. Or at least po post Wolf 3D, but still. I believe, uh, yeah, Doom came out around the same time as Jazz. But at the very least, you know, just seeing this is, is impressive. Didn't, didn't Sonic have something like this, too? It did. Yeah, it had, like, those things were on, like, that half-pipe-looking thing, right? Yep. Half-pipe-looking thing. Well, I'm, I didn't play a lot of Sonic, really. Actually, I, I think I think one of the reasons I've, I've, I've always dis I've never really gotten into Sonic is because I played Jazz first and I've always preferred it. Yeah, I, I honestly don't really like Sonic at all. Yeah, I don't know. I don't get it. Like, that's one of those games where it's fairly polarizing. I never got into Sonic. Cause, I like Sonic. I don't know. I can't, I can't get into the level design, I guess. And Sonic's got... I, I love that animation, still. by the way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tube electric. Tube electric. The giant yellow cheese moon. Or the tiny yellow cheese moon. Apparently. This is one of my favorite worlds. Because of the music. I, I just... All the music in this game is excellent, but especially right. this one. Yeah. So who is the composer? Do you know? Composer is uh, Robert A. Allen. Yeah, yeah. What else has he done? You know, I don't know. Hmm. I gotta find out about that though. I'll let you guys know in, uh, in the next episode. Okay. I look forward to learning. What are these uh, tiny turtle things here? Are they do anything? No, they just they just run around. You can kill them. I, I seem to recall killing each and every one of them. Yeah, but I... they 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 don't hurt you. Well, fuck them. They're turtles. They, they got it coming. Don't even need that extra life. No, I'm too good for this game. I already got six lives. Screw Are you it. like a pro speedrunner? No, <laughs> Jazz just makes me one. There's gotta be some interesting speedrun videos for this game. Yeah. I think interesting and speedrun videos are usually mutually exclusive. Usually, yeah. <laughs> Except for like Mario 64. Get some insane stuff where you just. Uh, like, oh, okay, well, tool sets of speed runs, those are, those are another story. But, so what, how, how are you playing play this here? Is this, uh, are you playing with the keyboard? Yes, I am. And you asked me, that's the proper way to play jazz. Says the, the guy collecting all the Gravis game pads right now. Hey, man. <laughs> I played with a Gravis game pad. I was one of the lucky kids with the Gravis game pad. I didn't I, have the Gravis I, I love those things, that thing. It even had. I don't know, I, I wish they still made them, like USB versions of them or something, but they're basically just little four button pads with. Um, a D-pad, and you could have like, they, they had this little tiny thumbstick you could put in the D-pad. It didn't really serve much purpose, but... Yeah. It was an excellent peripheral. Unfortunately, these days it's hard to find a laptop with a game, uh, uh, a joystick port in it, so. Yeah. I mean... I don't know, and you ask me though, if you're playing a PC game, it's gotta be keyboard. Any PC game? Any. I am inclined to disagree with you there, but that's a discussion for another video. But all right, there are games that are simply not designed to play with the keyboard nowadays. Yeah, those aren't worth it. <laughs> no, I mean, but for DOS games like this, it's. I mean, I grew up playing with a keyboard, so it, it's it's just what I feel comfy with. Right. So that's why I'm playing with a keyboard. I mean, it's it, it's just purist. Me being like a, I don't even know if purist is the right word, but it, it's sort of arbitrarily purist. So. I guess, yeah. I click the little chip things. Is that those are? I was not really yeah. sure. I always thought that thing to be some like strips of film or something. Yeah, they kind of look like strips of film. Maybe when I was little, that's what I thought they were. There are a lot of different types of collectible. Well, they they change. They're they're different every level, right? Yeah, yeah. And I think yeah, really cool. and us, we had the uh, floppies, right? Yeah, the floppies. I thought the floppies were cool. Although I don't know why they'd be floppies now that I think about it. Uh, you, you'd think they'd be diamonds or like gems. Well, they're all like computer-related stuff for whatever reason. Well, so far, yeah. <laughs> oh, 
say, oh yeah, this is a very, seems like a very seizure-inducing level. <laughs> oh yeah, oh, with that, that blue likes. background. Oh, and the sparks. Yeah. These things. If you haven't noticed yet, they behave kind of like uh, Boos yeah. from Super Mario World. Like, if you face away, they, they chase you. This is a very derivative game. You know, I, it really I, is. I, I'm, I'm usually kind of hard on stuff like that. Are you cli or what was that going on there? Are you, like, clipping through the side of the... Huh? It looks like you were, like, stuck on the edge, or is there, like, some kind of wall hang thing going on? No, I, I think it was just, like, the sprite was just kind of, like, pushing into it okay. a little bit too far. Okay, fair I wasn't, I wasn't, like, wall hanging or whatever. But, like... I, 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 I'm usually hard on games that are like obvious ripoffs, but I, I have I, I can't be hard on jazz. That must just be because I played it when I was a kid. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but it also does it so well. It does. That's true. Yeah. It's really a shame that the series sort of went the way it did. Yeah, it really is. Which uh, we'll be covering these in later videos as well. But yes. basically, it it is had a th there was going to be a 3D. Uh, a 3D sequel that never really went anywhere, and then there was a really bad uh, Game Boy Advance entry in the series, and, and now, yeah. now it's officially dead. <laughs> this is—it's also worth mentioning, in case for those who don't know. Uh, this was produced by uh, Epic Mega Games, who's ne yeah. now just Epic. You know, and people you probably know them from Gears of War and, and, uh, and the Unreal on, on, Unreal, yeah. So I mean, you, you you have most definitely played an Unreal Engine game if if you've played. Yeah. If you play modern games, you've probably played a game on Unreal Engine three. This game is uh, what got Cliff Blasinski out of his parents' house. Yeah, literally. It, it really is. And, and and it's really it's really bizarre to think that this is where like this here is where uh, 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 Epic got their start. Yeah, yeah. Well, they had they had, a, they had a couple games. They had uh, like before this, they had Jill of the Jungle and ZZT. Right. But this was like this was the big one. This is what got them out. And, uh, <laughs> if <laughs> sorry. Uh, if Kaz were still alive today, I'm not sure Epic would be able to do it justice. No, probably not. I love this animation. I'm already I, I love it, it yeah. <laughs> His head is just so happy. Medivo. Medivo so, is always a really cool the atmosphere. Are we men? We are Medivo. <laughs> are we not men? No, we are turtle things. Those are actually turtles according to the manual. Huh. They, they don't have shells, so they just put them in those things. Of course. <laughs> Yeah, the, um, the manual actually, like, talks about all the planets, and, uh, Medivo, according to the manual, Medivo's atmosphere, atmosphere is so thick, it always rains. Okay. So that's why it's, like, constantly raining in the background. Interesting. I don't, I don't know if that makes any sense, but there it is. I don't really know, I'm not a meteorologist. If you, if you I'll, saw, I'll believe it. If you saw it earlier, I'm trying to, uh, get that bird in the cage up there. Uh, that's called a hip-hop. A hip-hop? Cool. Yeah, a hip-hop. Like the music. Right. What do they do? They uh, they help you. They uh, they kind of hover with you and you know, fire. Oh, okay. Like bullets and stuff. They're really useful, which is why I was trying to get it, but I just couldn't do it. Oh well. So I just kind of gave up, and now I'm almost dead. It was worth it. It was. No, well, probably not actually. Well, maybe. Hip hops are also useful because they kind of act like a shield in that if you take damage, like you won't get hurt, but the hip hop will fly away. I don't I don't even remember hip hops. I guess I never got one when I was playing. Really. Too advanced. This level always struck me with a really sort of Looney Tunes kind of vibe. Really? Yeah, I, I think it's because these things remind me of Marvin the Martian. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yes, I can see that. Th th these are the connections I made as a kid. Yeah, yeah right. right. I didn't really watch a whole lot of cartoons. I have read that this had that this game had a, a strong influence from like Saturday morning cartoons and, and that kind of thing. But yeah. yeah. Oh, I forgot to talk about this uh, this other weapon that I found. The uh, my favorite weapon is the uh, bouncy bullet launcher. Oh, I love them. Yeah. As you can see, it, it fires really bouncy grenades. Yeah. I'm, I'm not sure if bigger. grenade is the right word, but they just bounce. little capsule thing. I, I do like the sound. I like the sound design in this game overall, and I like yeah. the sound they make when they bounce. Great. If I recall correctly, the, uh, the, the flavor text the manual gives you says that they're explosive rubber. Okay. Based on explosive <laughs> plastic. They get insane too because if, if you notice, they actually like instead of like lose like instead of losing like uh, energy from inertia, 
they actually build it. Really? Yeah, they, they just oh, wow. they bounce higher and higher. It's wow. great. Yeah. They're like physics defying things. Oh, this thing! I remember this. The hoverboard. It's totally rad. See, it looks like you keep crashing the spikes but not getting hurt. Yeah. Huh? So it looks like you keep crashing the spikes but not getting hurt. Maybe you're just like barely missing them. I'm not yeah. noticing. There's some real precision dodging and platforming going on here. Yeah. Yes, you are watching, watching a jazz master at work. <laughs> so this is the guy playing on normal difficulty and constantly taking hits. I'll have to just got one hand out there just to be cool. <laughs> yeah, just, yeah. Don't, don't step to this. Don't step. Yeah. Look at that. Flying, firing things everywhere. Does this thing run out? Huh? Does this thing run out? Yeah, this yeah. This is actually... Out. This is actually like a, uh, a bug in this game. What? Specifically like this level. Earlier versions of Jazz, had you dropped the, uh, had you dropped this, like somewhere around here. But you don't. In this <laughs> awesome. <laughs> so like, you, know, you were supposed to like cross that on foot, but you don't have to. Does it ever drop until the end of the level? It, it you, you, yeah. Well, that, that's the end of the level right there, but you don't have it in the next level. Thank oh, God, God. Otherwise it'd be a cakewalk. <laughs> One of my favorite things about this game is that when you complete the level, you can just like walk around and stuff. It's like, I, I just like to like walk away, <laughs> or just like bounce around. Yeah. You're making me want to play this game now. I know, it's like, it's just so fun, and fun to watch. It really is. That's the, um, the collectibles for this one are, uh, are chalices. Ah, of course, those are... Because we're in Medieval. We're in Medieval. I, I like these lava falls. I keep on thinking that they're environmental hazards when I look at them. Yeah, they, they look They're really well animated, yeah. I have to say. Well, they're, they're very, I don't know, they're simple, simply animated, I guess. They, they look pretty good. Yeah, this game, yeah, a lot of the things in this game use something called palette animation. And what that is, is that instead of like animating like a sprite or a picture, what it does is that it just like swaps um, colors in the palette. Oh, yeah, okay, that's cool. So I, like you can have like a gradient, and it'll make the gradient move down. That is a very cool thing. I've seen a lot of art like that. It's very yeah. impressive because of very impressive effects in it. Yeah. yeah. Um, have you heard of Mark Ferrari? Uh, sounds familiar, but yeah, he does. He does some art for. Uh, he does some art for Lucas Arts Adventure Games. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 And that, that used a lot of them. Cool. Yeah. Maybe Lucas Arts. I think it was Lucas Arts. I'm sure someone in the thread will correct us. Yeah. I know it's in the windows you see when the lightning flashes. That line of the turtle. Yeah. What is that? I was like. Trying to figure how that would even work, how you would have a, that that sort of yeah. I, I it didn't even occur to me that that's a turtle until like now. I, I didn't know what that was. I couldn't figure out what it was yeah. personally, but what's perfect? Perfect? Yeah. Um, if you get 100% enemies or 100% items, you get a bonus. Oh, okay. The guardian, the oh, boss of this the... episode. We get to fight Devon Shell for the first time. Oh, good. Is it always Devon Shell that you're fighting? Uh, not always. Okay. But here I, it's Devon Shell in a uh, an old flyer thing. It's Devon. I'm assuming this is the Sharer episode that we're playing right yes, now. Yes, right? this is this is the one that you could find for free on the internet. Right. You guys don't know about Shareware. Way back in the day, it's sort of a way to uh, combat um, piracy. Those games get often posted on uh, like message boards and things. Um, they created this thing called Shareware, where you can uh, share a copy of the game with other people. Usually, the first episode. Yeah, I, th I think it's that it was a uh, rather innovative way to combat to combat piracy by kind of like utilizing what was there. Yeah, well, it's also a pretty pretty effective way of mar uh, marketing style. Yeah, that too. You see here, when you complete an episode, you get a little the, uh, the hideously dorky Devon Shell. <laughs> I know twin mega battleships. That's Eva. Eva. Is that Devon Shell? That is not Devon Shell. No, okay. that's, a, that's a Guardian. I was gonna say, it didn't look like him before. No, Devon Shell is hideously dorky. Here, I, I try and type my Sig name. Sigfall. Sigfall. There's only seven characters, though. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I just put down Sig. Cliff and Cliffy. Right. Cool. Here, there's a secret level. We're not done yet. Check this out. It's you go here in the second level. Go through here. What's that? Shoot it! 
hand, you get to play as a hip hop in this one. Oh, That's cool. cool. See, you, know, you fly around as the hip hop. You collect huh. stars. Do your buddy hip hops do anything? Actually, yeah, you'll see oh. what a hip hop does. This is how a hip hop behaves, too. You can't get more than that. They just kind of like disappear. Okay. But you free all the hip hops. That's cool, though. Yeah. Click the rapid fires. Rapid fires are useful. These are a reference to something. Well, I'll show you in a little bit. Here. Good look, good look at those guys. I think I know exactly what those are a reference to. Yeah. If you guys can figure out what those are a reference to, we'll do something nice for you. Yeah. Those, those, you, you being those of you in the thread. Yes, or, 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 the, or, the, com or, or, the, or the comments. Yeah, maybe or we'll throw some money your way or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll figure something out. Jazz trivia. <laughs> and see, secret boss, turtle. Is it just a normal turtle and, yes. and, and the hip hop's really weak? Or it's no. normal with a lot of health? It, that one turtle just has a lot of health. Okay. So uh, that's the secret of episode one. Each episode has a secret. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Well, that's cool. That should be interesting. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's episode one of uh, Jazz Jackrabbit. Yeah, thanks for joining us. Yeah, we'll see you we'll, next uh, time. Peace.